Do you pay yourself? Um, I just started paying. Just started? Me, I just started paying myself. Congratulations. Um, thanks. Yeah. No. It. But it was a hard decision because it's like I mean you right. can relate. You, like you yeah. just want to put everything back into the business. Um, but you don't want to be homeless. So. Exactly. And you want, <laughs> exactly. And you want to take care of like everyone else before you know. But you have to take care of yourself and like otherwise it's not going to be sustainable. And this is your full time job now. It is. Yeah. That's I left great. my corporate job a year. Actually, like exactly a year ago end of September. What yeah. made, so what was the decision to leave? Was it something that happened with the company or you just said this will never grow and, until, yeah. It, it was pretty much like this will never grow. I was, I was working both like my schedule, looking back, my schedule was just insane. I was working my full time. at an accounting firm. Yeah. Insane schedule. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I was working like 40 plus hours a week at the accounting firm. I would work more like we, I travel a lot and put on events for them. And so I was a lot of travel hours too. And then trying to do this, like I would wake up at like 5 a.m., go to the gym, then like work on veg out, then commute to work or sometimes work from home, but work a full work day. And then you're just at the end of like a corporate job yeah. work day. You just don't want to do anything it's tough to, to, but then I yeah. would work veg out again. I would work veg out on lunch break and I just had like no time for anything else. Sure. And then I just realized on, I just realized like the opportunities I was missing out on because I would be invited to different things, tastings and events. And, and I couldn't, couldn't go because it was during the day when I was working. And so, so did you save, I guess, a little bit of money? Um, and sort of plan it or was so that it... would have been nice okay. <laughs> that would have been nice um no I mean I I didn't have a lot of savings I really um was working a job to just pay for like my nice car and my nice apartment and had no plan really and was just like I'm just doing this and I didn't being from the midwest I didn't really see another option it was like everyone goes to like a good university and then gets a good job and then you like buy nice things and like that's just like everyone's life you know that's the treadmill yeah and so i was just doing that and then it just hit me one day and i was like oh, I, I can it. do my mom was living in orange county she had just moved out here go mom yeah They'll support you yeah that's and great. so i was like i could move in with my mom for a little while and not pay rent my pride took a hit because I was like 27 at the time You're so it was dating. like it's tough to date yeah and, and yeah. being like south oc like I did not want to live there. Like it wasn't, that, it was like two hours to get to the city. So I had to make sacrifices. Like I had to make, and, and like, these are very like nice sacrifice. Like I was living at like a nice place. No, but like, you know what I mean? But they were sacrifices, sure. like giving up some of my independence. And um, I just cut like all my expenses, gave up my Equinox gym membership and like all these nice things that I had. Great gym, by just, the way. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. I actually, yeah. But yeah, I just like traded a lot of those financial things that's where like my paycheck was going they were holding you back in yeah. Some way. yeah and now i traded that for basically for freedom, freedom and and doing what i wanted to pursue that's such a good story. and i actually just sold my i actually just sold my um lexus like two weeks ago and took my sister's like old um chevy it was like it's a 2009 but i'm driving that around now so it's really amazing what happens when there's an awakening as it relates yeah. to you, you start to view money as a way to fuel your growth mm-hmm um, and your company and you start to re you realize like things are nothing but they're, they're kind of speed bumps mm -hmm. that you've placed in front of yourself because you've bought them. Yeah. But they hold you back in a lot of ways. But it's tough to make that switch because society and everybody around right. you is living large. Right. You know? I didn't even see it as an option, like which sounds silly. Um, I can almost relate it to veganism where I didn't even see like being vegan as an option. Like you're just it's so ingrained in you. You're yeah. just going along and then you're like, wait, why am I doing this? Like, why am I? Why do I have a car payment? I don't need to have a car payment. There's like my sister's like car that is perfectly fine, like sitting in my mom's driveway. Like I don't need a car payment. I'll just take that one. I think people just are going and they don't they don't think of the other option. Yeah. It's tough. I mean, it's tough to make yeah. the connection. And I think once you do, you're kind of like weird or you're afraid. Yeah. Um, I lived at home for two years when I graduated college. I had some student loans and I for sure didn't I didn't want them. Mm -hmm. And so I lived at home and fortunate or unfortunate, the stock market crashed at that time. Yeah. And so then I was able to buy a property in Boston because everything was like on sale and Uncle Obama was giving out $8,000 to first time home buyers. And so mm -hmm. that kind of, it all worked out. But mm -hmm. while I was living at home, I'll never forget this. My mom, after like a year and a half said, are you going to start contributing mm -hmm. financially? And mm -hmm. I said, no, like you're my mom. <laughs> Why would I start? She's like, that's not how this works. Mm -hmm. And so I said, all right, let's go to Costco. So I went to Costco and I, I think I spent $600 in groceries or something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll pay for this. This is my contribution. Mm -hmm. And then 
I moved out like two, two months later. <laughs> I was like, I'm never doing that. I don't know. There was so, it's so weird. My mom was my roommate basically. Yeah. And I was like, this is so terrible. It's, it is. And it's, yeah. But I think you just make, if you're an entrepreneur or you're someone who's like super passionate about, you know, making your business work or making your dream work, I think you'll take those, you'll take those temporary couple steps backward. That's what I always tell people. A couple steps backward to take, you know, big steps forward. Yeah. It's just temporary sacrifices for long-term goals. Yeah, totally. Yeah.